What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 and a brand new plant is now available in early access. It's called the Tomb Tangler. This one seems like a weird one. Uh, basically, let's read what it does. Tomb Tangler swallows tombstones and emits a fog that will slow zombies and can randomly pull them into the ground. Random, huh? It can only be planted on tombstones, which makes this kind of a, a plant that you're not going to bring in a lot unless the stage has tombstones. Um... And I don't know what these tombstones are made out of, but they sure make me belch out loud. Anyone dares disturb my siesta, I'll pull them down. Tomb Tangler looks pretty cool. Um, consume tombstone health, 80. Fog zombie, slow, 40. Fog pull chance, 10. Pull zombie. I, I don't really understand what this does. This toughness is 2,000. Cost 40. Kind of an odd amount. But we're going to test it out. And uh, one of the things is there's there's no uh, travel log event for me to try it out with. So this is an enchantment, level up enchantment, Zoybean pods here. But uh, it's not here for me. If it shows up later in the week or something, maybe I'm early, I don't know, then I'll check it out. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find stages that actually have uh, tombstones in them. Uh, in order to in order to showcase this it's gonna be an odd showcase but probably a short one because I don't even know um, I'll, you know what I'll probably have to look up stages after this first one I'll look up stages which stages have tombstones which ones don't um, 23 is that a good one I think we'll find out soon hopefully but yeah it's such an odd thing yeah tombstones here for sure and uh, so sure we'll bring in the tomb tangler and uh, I'll probably bring in some sort of sun production. Um, yeah, it's just an odd. This is just a totally odd thing to do. Um, I, I don't know what else to bring in. Just give me something. <laughs> I don't even know if he takes plant food. Uh, so, here we go. I just want to see how this works in general. And I honestly, at this point, like, I... I'll just have to see what it does to know how to further test it, so... And that means I'm not, I'm not gonna get 50 extra seed packets if, if I don't have an event. So, put this in here. He's on the tomb. He emits a fog. And I'm just kinda watching to see what he does to the zombie. Okay. I'm gonna put another one down. Okay. I do not get Tomb Tangler. <laughs> Does anyone get it? Dude, I don't understand. It takes forever to recharge. Tomb Tangler's coming out. I mean, he's tough. He's almost like a shield. What? Oh. You finally grabbed him, dude. Why did it take so long to grab him? There we go. So, okay, he pulls him down, and he's so tough that he does, I guess, kind of act as a shield. Let me, use, let me see what happens if I uh, use a plant food on him. Okay, so he just pulled him down instantly. That's cool. Uh-oh. Here, let's try another one. How many do they pull down? Two. We pulled down two with that. I mean, there's so many other ways to get rid of zombies <laughs> that I can't... I just can't really imagine me using Tomb Tangler. I bet Tomb Tangler is flammable. That also takes a long time to get over here. Let's see. Let's watch him burn. Let's see. This I don't understand this fog. So it burned them, but... It also took away the tombstone. That's interesting. Uh, so let's just drop it here. I'm gonna put a Tomb Tangler down, hopefully save that tombstone. So he grabbed him instantly. Use it again. He grabbed two of them. Okay. I don't want him to burn up again, so here, blow him up. It's such an odd thing. I kinda wanna test out, uh... Okay, yeah, how are you going to handle... I can't just put them down anywhere. There has to be a tombstone. What is the fog all about, dude? Here, let me use this. Okay, he touched the Gargantuar, but he didn't do anything with the Gargantuar. Here. There you go. Cool. So what happens if, uh, if I just leave him sitting here? Eventually, one of them is going to grab him, right? That's how this works. 
This is such an odd plant. I can't imagine using this plant. <laughs> I just can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would I ever use this plant? And I don't get to test out a level 10 one for a long time, so I don't even know what his max potential is. He's just occupying the graves and kind of acts as like a walnut where, you know, and then maybe occasionally one of them will grab him. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna put another one. There he goes. <laughs> oh God, what the heck? I don't get this one. <laughs> I honestly don't get the okay. I, here's what I want to do. I want to I want to test out just totally max level. I know, I can't think of anything else to test this with. Like what else? What other tests do I want to do with something like this? Okay, we'll bring. How about we'll bring in the plant? Here, I'm gonna do the same stage again. I don't know which stages have tombstones in them. I wish they would have given me something in the travel log so I could actually like. So, because sometimes in the travel log, uh, you know, missions they they give you, they give you situations that uh, pertain to the tomb tangler, or or to whatever plant they're showcasing. So I'm going to skip this, skip this. I'm going to bring out imitated tomb tangler, so we have more to play. And then I'm going to bring in tile turnip too, so that maybe we could. So I want to see if the, if it'll work with the tile turnips. So weird. Honestly, like this is bizarre. They take forever to recharge. Why do they take so long to recharge? I can't put, look, I can't put tile turnips on the graves at the moment, but let's see what happens if I do this, this, then can I put it down? Then I can put it down. So hold up, let me dig one up. Okay, so they immediately destroy the grave. That's interesting to know. So they can, they completely replace the grave. So, I mean, I just got to do it, right? And then I can put down more tiles. But I... Come on, Tomb Tangler. It's only level one, so... And until something, so wait, if I use this, watch. Oh, I forgot to bring in whatever, it's a, I forgot to bring in the mint or, or whatever I wanted to use with it. I guess I'll see what the mint's effect is next level. So this guy's making more graves, which is great. It means, hey, I can put more tomb tanglers down. Throw, throw some more in. Look, so this is actually a really good level for this because the graves keep getting replenished. Dude, that guy just blew right past him. So far, the tombs, for however many I have, are not attacking. <laughs> so that's frustrating. Here, just get, boom. Get out of here. They're giving me more tombs, it's great. There you go, there you go, they're attacking, they're attacking, watch out. Okay, well, they just burned up. I hate that they can just be burned up. They're not tough if they can just be burned up, dude. Here. Boom, oh crap, that takes out two graves. Dang it, there's a guy up here too. Get out of here. Get out of here. I wanna dig him up. So the the tiles are left behind. I don't have any more tombs. If it weren't for the fire, I'd be able to have a whole plethora of tomb tanglers out here. So here's a bunch of zombies, right? Oh wait, hold on, we can put down another one. So I just can't put these anywhere else. So here, took out some zombies, took out the other zombies. Cool, crap, here comes more guys. Take out the fire zombies. Got him, dude. All right, final wave. Let's see how it handles our gargantua in this final wave. I'm ready, let's attack. It touched him. Really? Touch him again. <laughs> Here, go. Grab him. They're touching him. That doesn't do like any damage, dude. It's not even taking out this gargantuar at all. <sighs> Alright, well. 
Dang it. <laughs> Here, let's let's see if we can touch him again. Like, it doesn't do it. Okay, we, we, it must have hit him a little bit. All right. I don't even know how to. D this is probably the weirdest plant that I've that has come across here recently, and we've had some weird plants. Like seriously, let's look at the plants really quick. I I just want to see. <laughs> I wish they gave me a travel log stage. If it comes, if the travel log stage comes up, I'll play it like later this week. It's just not there. I, I just keep checking, and it's not there. And I want to check it out because I I do want it to level up level it up some. Uh, but things are kind of bugged right now. I don't know what's going on. If you take it, like, it took me forever. I had to keep refreshing the shop and rest restarting the app to get the Tomb Tang Tangler to show up in the shop. Uh, but also, if you take a look, there's, like, this Tomb Tangled Premium Pinata. And, uh, it says buy, but I, I, there's no price, so I can't actually buy it. And so, Tomb Tangler Adventure Pinata, what does it have in it? It has a 13% chance of having Tomb Tangler in it. And that's for gems. My gems are so low, dude. I didn't even realize my gems were that low. Twenty-eight, but I can get fifteen. I can I can spin these, and then I'm, am I gonna get more tomb tanglers? There's not not a great chance of getting them. So, and how many will I get if I do get them? No tomb tanglers. Does this one have the same chance? Thirteen percent chance of tomb tanglers. I mean, I have a lot of coins, so yeah, no tomb tanglers there. Come on. There's a wait. I got like five. How many did I get? It tells you five. I got five. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do that like ten times to get fifty to level it up again, <sighs> which is possible, I guess. But I mean, I, I it's gonna take forever to get it. I got Grave Buster there. I'm not gonna just sit here and do this. I would do this off camera or something. But it's intriguing. I mean, this is how they get you with the loot box mechanics. They just like, they just like, come on, you're gonna get it next time. You know you're gonna get it next time. So I got another five. So you guys get the idea. Um, you can also you can also watch ads if you want it to to get more tomb tanglers. So if you have a lot of coins, you got I don't know. Let's. Uh, it's only five, man. They don't. When the plants first come out, especially when they're early, technically, quote unquote, early. They don't give you a lot of uh, of options in order to, to get these things. I can hey level seven. That wastes a lot of coins. <laughs> uh, cherry bomb mastery. Okay. What else do we have here? The bean level seven now too. All right, we're leveling up some plants. So uh, let's go right back into there, and we'll use the mint this time and see if we can spice things up a little bit more. But honestly, at this point, I don't know what else to showcase with it because it's such an odd plant. I don't even understand the point of the fog. It's so weird. So um, I feel like I'm using all of this, honestly. Let's okay. We we actually we see what happens with the plant food. Let let's bring out the um. Oh, is it the containment? Is that what it's called? Yeah, containment. Let's see what happens here. If I use the containment on them, genuinely don't know. They'll probably just end up grabbing things more often or something. I don't know. All right, so boom, boom. So we're putting these down. Let's see, let's do plant food. All right. So they are uh, more active, <laughs> I guess. Such a confusion right here. Yeah, that was great. I'm not, you know, I try to be honest with you guys. This might be my least favorite plant. <laughs> I should honestly go through and <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't, I don't like to badmouth things or anything, you know. Just I don't like to speak ill of anything, really. Uh, but I just don't know how to showcase this. <laughs> I just don't know. It's, it's only, it's only usable on tombstones. It doesn't even seem that active. Like they just 
It basically turns tombstones into walnuts and sometimes it takes out zombies. That's basically what it does. So if you're on a stage with a ton of tombstones and like, which is rare, um, but you, there's so many other things you can do to the tombstones. You can use the Boinzetta just to destroy all the tombstones. You can do, um, dude, like, hurry up and take these guys. Grab somebody. Here, we'll use this again. That temporarily freezes the zombies. They need to go active and then hurry up and get someone. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. But at the same time, here we go. Yeah, there you guys go. Goodbye. All right, but now that we're gonna have the fire guys come through, which is, I guess, okay as well. Here they are. Two fire guys. Got them, good. Okay. So odd. All right, yeah, more tombstones. Give them to me. Perfect, perfect, you guys know it. Throw more tombstones in the middle there, please. In the middle. The middle's where I want them. Yes. So bizarre. <laughs> this guy has a long line of those to deal with. Like, if they would just grab a little more often, that would be nice. I guess you'd have to level it up, though. There you go, thank you, and it gave me the plant food. So the more, next time these guys come out, then for sure. Here, we're gonna wanna take, yeah, there you go. Goodbye, everybody. I'm curious now. Hold up, so this would be the test, right? Not the test, but a test. Uh, okay, he's gonna take that guy out. Sure. Here, how many? How many little arms are gonna come out? Get him! I'm not gonna have any more plant food, unfortunately. Well, here, let me just, uh, just a showcase. Let's see how many, how many plant foods is it gonna take for me to take out this guy? They're all grabbing him. Only like one, one. What the heck, dude? Here, grab this little. We got him! <laughs> All right. <laughs> I need to go through and make a tier list, honestly, because this will be like one of the worst. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know. <laughs> I cannot even. Yeah, I, okay. Like, for real, like, Tomb Tangler. Pulls zombies down. That's a plant food power. Swallows tombstones and emits a fog that would slow zombies. Okay. I didn't even notice. <laughs> but it slows, the fog slows the zombies. So it's basically like a walnut. It turns into like a walnut. So the, the, at the point right now, this toughness is 2,000. I don't know what the walnut's toughest toughness is at low levels, but the walnut right now is 8,000, so it's probably similar to a low level walnut, I don't know. And then, so it basically turns a tombstone into a walnut, it slows down the zombies and it randomly pulls them down. So it's kind of like a walnut, it's kind of like a premium walnut in a way, but uh, it's a you have to have gravestones for it to work. So that's the caveat that, that just so odd, just an odd plant. We've been having, like, this one's an odd plant, too. But I like the Levitator better, I think. This thing, uh, the Bramble Bush. I don't really use that one, either. <laughs> uh, we, we've had some interesting plants. I, I love the Telepotato Mine. That's one of my favorites. This is not one of my favorites at all. This one's okay. This one's, eh. It was in Plants vs. Zombies 3. Uh, and it was cool there because you didn't have anything else like it. But there's, I think, better stuff than Buttercup. Uh, like Head Butter Lettuce, for example. And then the this one, you know, I just block Ali. I just don't really use it, you know? This one was okay. This one was interesting. This one was a little weird to me. 
This this one's fun for sure. The Solar Sage is really fun. The, the Power Vine was good. Um, man, if I, yeah, I'm just kind of pre-gaming a uh, a tier list in my head right now. Thanks for watching. I don't I don't know how to showcase this. Is it like if you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments, and then that I'll I'll keep that in mind for next time I use it, just so I can answer any questions. I think I I can't think of anything I missed though. <laughs> I just can't think of anything I missed. <laughs> Cause, cause there's, uh, okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.